Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F-Bomb here on Nick Broink, and welcome to the first video of Star Wars Week, where I had a little bit of trouble. I very much looked forward to putting some Battlefront 2 from the PC on here, and I may be able to do that, but I had some technical difficulties. A month trying to test out if the game worked, I ran into multiple problems. One of them being that all my mods uninstalled throughout the year, even though they've been installed on my computer forever. So what I needed to do was I needed to go ahead and check if all my mods worked. Then I needed to go ahead and reinstall the Battlefront 2 conversion pack. After that was done, I needed to reinstall the Battlefront 2.2 conversion pack patch. After that, my mod still didn't work, so I had to go ahead and reinstall the version 1.3 patch. Mine didn't work, so I had to re I had to install the newest version of the patch, it's like the version 1.3R or some garbage like that. After that, my mod started to work. Then I reinstalled my Battlefront 2 BFX mod, or Battlefront Extreme. In the process of installing the Battlefront Extreme mod, something went wrong, something I've seen you guys in the comments complain about, which I always chalked up to just having any game data, game data error. Since that's not what happened, I had to go ahead and play around with the folders and, and custom make the entire BFX mod myself. Did you get all that? Did that speed by too fast? Well, it's okay. Because for the first time ever, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna redo one of my videos. I hate redoing things. It drives me insane. But because of how many issues I've had, which still doesn't solve my initial issue, I'm gonna go ahead and this video is going to show in 2019 how you install for Battlefront 2, the 2005 version, on Steam. The conversion pack, the conversion pack 2.2, the version 1.3 patch, and the BFX mod. You're going to download them in those orders, and we're going to go through it right now. All right, so the first step you have to do is go and buy Star Wars Battlefront 2, the 200, 2005 edition, on Steam. Real simple, right? It's real cheap, too, especially around the time that I'm doing this, because they always put the Star Wars games on super low. I think this cost 25 cents once. So just buy it. It's fun. I am not spot. Once you have the game installed, double check, make sure it works, because that's, you know, you need to do that. Once you know that it's working, then you need to start downloading some of these mods. Uh, I'll explain these as we go on, but you need to download them in the order that I am going to tell you, and the order that is in the description. And these are my files that I have saved over the years and put up because, like, one of the big websites that had all the Battlefront 2 mods got destroyed. The first one you're going to download is the Convo. The Convo Patch, the regular Convo Pack installer, which is here as just Convo Pack Installer.exe. It's the exe file. It's the execute file. It's going to come up. You're going to. It's going to ask you. You're going to say run. You're going to wait for it to load. <laughs> you might see a little message come up. This will pop up. It's asking, do you know want to run it? Just hit yeah. It's not a virus. No one's trying to screw you. Okay. Then that'll take a while to load. Because my computer's struggling trying to remake this. You're going to hit whatever language you want. Then this is going to come up. And the installation wizard is going to come up. You're going to hit next. You're going to hit I accept. You're going to hit next. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next. Here's where it gets tricky. We're not playing it on the computer. We're playing on Steam. So you see how it says program files dot eight six whatever. Right? LucasArts. That's not what you want. You want to browse. Don't screw this up, because everyone screws this up. You want to scroll all the way down, because we're playing on Steam. You want to go to Steam. Oh, my computer has a heart attack doing this. Steam. Steam apps. Then you go Common. Then you go to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Then you go to Game Data. That's it. All right, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Star Wars, Battlefront 2, Game Data. You see how it says slash Game Data? Get rid of that one. It's just one Game Data. You hit OK, and then you double check it. If you put it in Game Data slash Game Data, you make a new folder. You don't want that. You hit Next, and it installs the whole thing. I'm going to hit Cancel, because... I already have installed. But wait, hold on. You're not even done installing stuff for the conversion pack yet. Because there's a huge patch. Alright? So you go and you find the Convo Pack 2.2 patch. Alright, so you're going to open it. It's going to look... It's going to be just like the same. You're going to hit Run. You're going to wait. You're going to hit Yeah. You're going to make it English. Right? 2.2. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Here we go. You see how this only has one game data? 
in the LucasArts thing. So make sure when you hit browse and you go, Steam, Steam apps, common. Star Wars Battlefront 2, game data. Make sure it doesn't have the other game data folder. If it does, you screwed it up. Then you hit next. But I'm not going to do that because I haven't installed. It should install just fine. Now here's where you check some of your progress, right? And you could go to Instant Action and see. Don't, don't mind these yellow ones. These yellow maps are other mods. Uh, Bespin Cloud City, Bespin Platforms. That's from the original game. That's from the combo pack. But here's the thing. This is how you know there's a problem with the mod, okay? Because when I go to Bespin, right? There's only Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War in the Era section. And this is where you need to download something to make all the mods work in Battlefront 2. All right, a, a while ago, I didn't have to do it, or my version worked. I had to download new version. That's the newest part for this. So if you want to do any mods, including the BFX one that I'm doing next, you need to download this next mod. And the instructions are a little different. So now, we need to install the Star Wars Battlefront 3 version 1.3 patch R130. I just found this one after like hours of trying to make it work and, and I and this is what helped me so I'm assuming this is the one that works so you you download it from my list it's, it's number three in the description and you hit run and I actually have to install this mod in front of you guys too because I need it you hit yes the directions for this one are different it says when picking the installation path and the next step choose the main folder when Star Wars Battlefront 2 is installed don't pick its game data folder and that's the difference because this changes the game so it it came up for me now so it should do it automatically but if it doesn't you know you're going to browse steam steam apps common star wars battlefront 2 that's it just star wars battlefront 2 do not put it in the game data and then you install it just like it said this is changing the game this is allowing certain things to work right now already i have a, a confirmation that this is working by having 510 out of 500 total missions. That means that the errors are working and each error that you use works as a separate map. So already, like, this is orange too. It looks different. Bestman Cloud City, there we go. Knights of the Old Republic. I have a mod in there. And my BFX and my the Old Republic stuff is here. But I'm going to be reinstalling the BFX mod for you guys. If, you, if this isn't working, like, you know, you don't have the actual guts of the mod. Like, yeah, you have the maps, but you're missing a lot of stuff. And you need that version 1.3 patch to make any other mod work. Or else you're not going to get your errors. Now, I always assumed that, I need, that you needed to install the conversion pack 2.2. Because the BFX pack is a 2.2. I always assumed that it was related. I have a new one in the download link. That's title 2019, which is this one. So I'm going to hit run. It came up and hit yeah. It's going to come to this. Welcome to the Battlefront Extreme Setup Wizard. Next. I agree. Next. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the final release. To install it, you must have the conversion pack and the unofficial patch. So you do need to do all the mods in the order. You hit next. See how it says game data, add-on game data? Get rid of that shit. You're going to make it game data only. But let's say you did this by mistake, huh? Let's say you messed this up and you put it in the wrong spot. We're going to double look at it. Just do game data slash... No, just do it the way we did it before. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Game data. And then get rid of these things. If you were dumb and you didn't do it right, I'm going to show you. If not... You can skip ahead. When you're done installing, this comes up. All done, go run it. You hit next. You're good. You're fine. Okay? This is for the idiots. Who never listen. You go... You, you gotta go ahead and find it. You're gonna have to go into pro, your program files. You're gonna have to go to Steam. Steam apps. Common. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Where is that thing? Game data. Add-on. Because that's where most of your stuff goes. Now... You have you have successfully, good job, created a game data folder because you're an idiot and you didn't listen. <laughs> or you're rushed. If you did that, you copy this folder. You copy the add-on folder. You go back. No. Forget that. Drag it out. Drag it out to the desktop. I have an add-on folder sitting here. 
drag it out to the desktop. And when you come back, you drag it in, right? And it says move to game data. You're going to hit merge with this file. I'm not because this add-on's something special for me. All right? Then you're going to go back to your data. You're going to drag it out. Okay? Then you're going to go back over here, and you're going to merge it with the data that's in the game data folder. This has all the sides that you need. I'm not going to do it because I, I have it set. Okay. Then you're going to delete this game data folder in your add-on folder. Oh, something went wrong. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, you're going to delete that. That is, if you successfully did not follow my instructions, if you did, then you should be playing it already because you're finished. And again, you know, if you have the BFX mod, this will come up. Don't worry about it. It's like no big deal. But let's go test them, right? Everyone likes Bespin. Cloud City, sure. Conquest. Knights of the Old Republic. Why? Because that's part of the mod that we just did. And then, what's another cool one? We'll do... You know, I always like Coruscant with the BFX Clone Wars. So we'll add it. And let's go check these babies out. Ho ho ho! It's a good sign! Listen, I'm no genius, alright? One of my friends helped me do this like 10 years ago, 15... Like, you know, in 2009. I jerry-rigged a bunch of this crap from forums and other... And fooling around. Knights of the Old Republic mod, uh, if you don't get the error, it's from... You know... That game, so long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. The uh, Knights of the Old Republic. It's not the best mod, and there's a ooh, there's a, a newer mod that goes more with. Uh, oh, I'm still having my problem. There's a newer mod that goes with the other stuff, but if you download the combo pack, you're missing out on this. So now let's check if the BFX mod work. You'll know right away, cause like the t there's ton of new troops and ton of shit. It's amazing. I love the BFX mod. It's my favorite in Battlefronts. Two. But my issue with Battlefront 2, as you saw a little bit, and as you'll see, and the whole reason why I started all this crap in the beginning, the Republic, yeah, see, it works. You know it works. Because it's simple instructions. My problem with the game, at the moment, is that it keeps freezing every couple of seconds. And you'll probably see it once the enemies actually get on the screen. Don't ask me why. I don't understand what the hell's going on. I think there's... Because I know this is going to be a problem. They talk to see it's freezing. It's not because I'm recording with Fraps. But there, I think there's a disconnect with Windows 7. So, look. I got the mods to work for you. I remade the video. <laughs> Happy uh, Star Wars week. Because this is the start of Star Wars week. Uh, I figured out some of you guys' ridiculous problems, and it's because you, no one was following instructions. Ooh, it's a clone assassin. Look at that guy. I don't know what's my problem. But, hey, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Because of this issue, I can't really put Battlefront onto the channel. I was going to play a bunch of games with my cousin. I might play on my brother's computer, as I think I said in the earlier video. I mean, earlier in the video. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not feeling... I don't really want to just blast my brother's computer. I am buying a new one at the end of the year. Like in July. And currently I'm stress testing this, but it's still not working that great. Ooh, Syndra League? Yo, I'm using him in my book! Yes, I am right. Oh, they took they took the command post over again. Bitches. All right, we'll play with Syndra League a little bit before I uh, I end this because it is crapping out. Look at this man. <laughs> As it freezes. Look at this man. Ugh. It's like I'm playing on dial up. Jesus Christ. It's so bad. All right. Well, I'll see if my brother will let me play with. Play uh, with my cousin. Maybe we'll get some like actual Battlefront 2. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm the F bomb here on Nick Rowink. Come back, be a friend. <laughs> Fuck, we love friends. Just want to kill this one guy, and then the video's over. Beautiful. A friend is a friend in the end of the end.
that's correct.